Hello people, this is the Geekazoid bringing you another tutorial. Now, today's tutorial is going to be an updated tutorial on how to install and configure Kodi. Now, the reason why I'm doing an updated tutorial is first of all, uh, a few stages have changed in the configuration stage of Kodi. Um, so I think it's uh, about time that I made an updated tutorial covering a step-by-step -step process on how to configure Kodi. And the second thing is, this is my actual machine. This is my, my own gaming computer. And what's happened is, uh, unfortunately, my computer had a, had a hard drive crash. Um, now, for all the techies out there, I basically um, run my SSD drives in RAID and what basically happened is one of my drives in the RAID configuration uh, crashed. When that one SSD drive crashed, it causes, caused a crash across all the drives, um, which caused massive loss of data and basically in a nutshell I had to format all of my drives and start from scratch again and reinstall Windows from scratch. So here I am, this is a fresh installation of Windows um, and unfortunately I don't have my recording software any longer. Um, I used to use a software called Camtasia Studio to edit as well as record my videos. I don't have that anymore uh, as I haven't installed it, I haven't had time, I just managed to get my operating system working now and installed with all my drivers and also I don't have my virtual machine software any longer so I'm actually installing or showing you this installation video on my actual operating system. Now I'm using a very rudimentary program to record this tutorial. I'm unable to edit this tutorial so uh, what you see is actual live. Uh, basically I'm unable to edit it. If I make any mistakes um, you know they will just come in the recording. Uh, if my phone rings, I do apologize. I'll quickly just nip over to answer my phone and then I'll get back into the tutorial as I'm unable to cut or edit this video uh, at any stage. So without further ado, um, this is an updated tutorial from the date of 17th of June 2015 on how to install and configure Kodi. Okay, so what we're going to do first of all, we always start off at the desktop. As you can see, nothing fancy. I've just got the standard Windows 7 64-bit desktop here. And that's the operating system I'm running. What I want you to do, first of all, to begin, is to click on Internet Explorer. Now, Internet Explorer is on the bottom left corner of the screen. So I want you to mouse over Internet Explorer and left click on it. Once we left click on it, an Internet Explorer window should appear. On mine it's Google, uh, the Google search engine, because I've set the Google search engine as my default home page. What that basically means it loads up as my default page as soon as I click on Internet Explorer. Yours, your default home page might be different. You might have set it as MSN uh, home page or Yahoo uh, or whatever uh, you set as your home page. If you have set your home page to anything else what you need to do is you need to navigate to the Google search engine website and that is simply by in the top bar on the top address banner typing in www.google.com so once you type google.com hit and enter and it should load up the Google website I've already got it load, loaded up so it's not going to do anything uh, from the Google website I want you to click on the search bar make sure there is a flashing cursor there and in the address bar of Google I want you to type in Kodi. So Kodi. Once you typed in Kodi in the address bar I want you to click on the enter button on your keyboard. Once you click the enter button you should have a couple of searches or search results to be accurate. Now in the search results what I want you to do is I want you to click on Kodi.tv so it will be the first result or it should be the first result on Google search and that will be Kodi.tv forward slash. I want you to click on this where it says Kodi open source home theater software. So I want you to mouse over that and then left click on it once to load up the Kodi page. It will load up the Kodi web page. Now how do you know this is the Kodi web page? Well it will have this web address up here. HTTP 
colon forward slash forward slash Cody dot TV forward slash and you know you're on the Cody website uh, on the Cody website um, on the top of the Cody website just underneath where it says Cody you'll have some tabs it will be about downloads add-ons wiki forum donate contact and get involved if you want to donate to the Cody website go ahead and you can click on the donation button and donate to Cody or the developers of Cody themselves I mean they've developed a fantastic software and they deserve uh, recognition and they they deserve a little bit of kickback so if you want to donate to Cody you can do so it's up to you I'm not working for Cody by the way I'm not their employee or anything like that um, so what I want you to do on the Cody website is I want you to highlight downloads so mouse over downloads so downloads will automatically turn this gray color once you m move your mouse over it and click on the download button left click on the download button once once you've left clicked on the download button this window should load up and this window will basically show all the operating systems like Linux, Mac OS, Android, uh, Kodi Bintu, uh, iOS, Raspberry Pi and other uh, uh, operating systems as well as Windows. Now in the future I might make some videos uh, detailing how to install Kodi on other uh, operating systems and other devices. Uh, maybe that's uh, that will come in the near future so stay tuned to see those upcoming videos hopefully soon now what we're interested in is in the windows section because my tutorials are always well most of my tutorials are how to install and configure stuff on windows uh, Kodi being one of uh, a fantastic software a multimedia software so from this screen where it says Kodi 14.2 helix I want you to go down on the windows icon where it says windows 14.2 next to it it'll say installer and they'll say the text with the underline. Now, when you mouse over this installer, your mouse icon will change into a hand with a with a finger pointing at the installer. Once that happens, I want you to single left click on installer. So single left click on it. The window screen will flash. The screen will flash and go back to Cody where you left it. But you'll notice something on here. This glowing box underneath here. It says, "Do you want to run or save Cody 14.2 Helix.exe?" 67.8 megabytes and what you want to do is you want to click on save but you want to click on this little little arrow next to save it's a little black arrow facing downwards I want you to click on that arrow and it should have this box opening up this pop-up box and on this box I want you to mouse over save as and I want you to left click on save as once you left click on save as this window will appear on this window this window is basically telling you where you want to save the Kodi file. Now we always want to save to desktop because it's easier for us to see the downloaded file when it's on desktop. So on the left side here I want you to highlight mouse over desktop and I want you to click on desktop once. Once you click on desktop, desktop will change into this blue sky blue highlighted color. So once you clicked on desktop I want you to go down remember the name Kodi 14.2 Helix and I want you to go down mouse over save and I want you to left click on save so there Kodi is now downloaded how could you how could you tell if Kodi is downloaded on the same bottom banner that appears it should say the Kodi 14.2 Helix.exe download has completed once it shows that I want you to click on the little X icon next to this box here to close that box down and I want you to close down your Internet Explorer by clicking on the X icon on the top right corner of the screen so click on that X icon to close back uh, close Internet Explorer down and return to your desktop as you can see now on the desktop we have two icons here recycle bin and the Kodi icon which we just downloaded now what I want you to do is I want you to mouse over the Kodi icon okay I want you to right click the Kodi icon right click it not left click right click it and I this box will appear and I want you to mouse over open and then move down from open to where it says run as administrator okay now if you have administrator privileges you'll have that box appear now I'm guessing 99% of the users watching this video will have administrator privileges now if you're children you might not have had of administrative privileges in that case what you need to do is you need to talk to the administrator of your PC which probably 
99% of the time would be your parents. So they will then give you administrative privileges. So for all the 99% of the people, this wouldn't be an issue. So I need to right click on Cody and then go down and click on run as administrator. Once you click on run as administrator, this box will appear. It says user account control. Do you want to allow the following program from an unknown publisher to make changes to this computer? Don't worry about it. Move your mouse over yes and then left click on yes to install. This box will then appear. It'll say welcome to the Kodi setup wizard. I want you to move your cursor down to next and then left click on next. Then it says the license agreement. It's If you want to read this you can do so but I suggest you mouse over I agree and then left click on I agree. Then this box will appear. If this box this box should always be on full. If this is on minimal or anything else like a normal, what I want you to do is I want you to click on this bottom arrow here to get this drop down, okay? And I want you to mouse over full and click on full. So you want to make sure it's on full, okay? Once that is on full, I want you to click on next. Left click on next. So once you've left click on next, it'll then tell you where do you want to install Kodi to. What is your install location? I suggest you leave the install location as default. Well, the default on my machine is C drive colon backward slash program files x86 backward slash Cody. So leave it as default. Don't enter anything here. Just highlight mouse over next and left click on next. And then this box will appear. And then I want you to left click on install. So left click on install and it should be installed in Cody. Wait for it to install. Let it do its thing. Okay, brilliant. Uh, this box should appear saying completing the Kodi setup wizard. Kodi has been installed on your computer. Click finish to close this wizard. So we're going to left click on finish to close down the wizard. Now what I want you to do is give a little pat on your back. You have successfully installed Kodi. However, you have now, you have to configure Kodi to get it working properly. So we're back at desktop again. Once you clicked on that finish icon, what I want you to do is, could you see this Kodi 14.2 Helix? I want you to left click this and keep the left button pressed on your mouse. Okay, so you can drag this icon and I want you to drag it into the recycle bin. Okay, so we've dragged the Kodi install icon into the recycle bin. I don't want you to empty the recycle bin yet. Just put it in the recycle bin and forget about it for the time being. So how do we load up Kodi? Now that we've installed it, how do we open up the Kodi program? To open up the Kodi program, what I want you to do is click on this start icon on the bottom left hand corner. I want you to click on all programs and then I want you to find Kodi in this list. As you can see, there is Kodi. It's a folder. I want you to click on the Kodi folder and this bottom list will appear and then it'll say uninstall Kodi, visit Kodi online and then Kodi. I want you to click on Kodi, left click on Kodi to start loading up Kodi. Kodi will load up like this and it'll update itself. It's saying Universal Artist Creator updating. Let Kodi do its updates. Now the updates will appear on the bottom right corner of the screen. So let it do all of its updates. Okay. Now sometimes at this stage you'll have a little pop-up box appearing. Now I'll show you how the pop-up box looks like. Let the updates happen. Now I want you to completely disregard what I'm doing now. I'm just doing it on the purpose to show you something. Now completely disregard this. You're at this stage and I want you to be at this stage. So what I'm going to do now, I don't want you to copy me. I'm just doing this just to show you what the pop-up box looks like. Okay? So I won't be a moment. Disregard what I'm doing now, okay? When you click on Kodi, you'll see this pop-up box playing. Won't be a moment. There should be an images. Let's see how it appears. I'm just getting the image, what, how it's going to look like. 
Won't be a moment. Da -da -da. Try to get the best image for you guys. I won't be long. God, it's hard talking down the mic while you're doing the video. I've got a really dry mouth. But I dare not leave my desk. Where are you? Trying to find a nice image for you guys. What should pop up on your screens? Uh huh. Okay, let's just go up. I'm trying to find a file for you. Okay, this is how it look like. Okay, view image. Okay. Now, sometimes when you install Kodi for the first time, your this box will show up. This box might pop up when you first click on Kodi to load it up. Now you can start following me from this point forward. This I've done this just to show you. On my system it hasn't done this, but on your system you might get this little pop-up box which will look something like this. It'll say Windows Firewall has blocked some features of this app. And it'll say Windows Firewall has blocked the features of not test2.exe, it'll say Kodi.exe or something like that. What I want you to do, if this box appears when you first click on Kodi, I want you to make sure that there's a tick in private network. So there's a tick there and there's a tick there. Now I want you to make sure there's ticks on both of these boxes. And then I want you to click on allow access. See allow access has got a red box around it just to highlight to show you. I want you to click on allow access. Once you click on allow access, this box should disappear and you'll end up back at your Kodi screen. So from this point forward, you can start following me again. I just went onto Google to search for the image just to show you guys how that pop-up box will look like. Because it hasn't appeared on my system, but for many of you people, if this is the first time you're installing Kodi, that pop-up box will appear on your systems. Just telling you that Kodi needs to get through your firewall or the Windows firewall and you need to follow that instruction which I showed you. Make sure there are those two ticks and click on allow access. Okay, so what that will do is it will take you back to Kodi. Now what I want you to do is briefly have a look at Kodi. Now Kodi basically is this fancy wallpaper with these uh, this these uh, headings, pictures, videos, music, programs and system. Now to navigate left and right what you want to do is to navigate left and right on this banner is just you move the mouse cursor to the extreme left of the screen to move it left and you move your cursor to the extreme right of the screen to move it right. It's within this banner so move it to the extreme left to move it to the left, move it to the extreme right to move it to the right. That's basically how you navigate Kodi and I want you to become familiar with navigating in Kodi. Okay? So now that you're familiar with how to navigate along these menus, what I want you to do is I want you to take your mouse cursor, move the screen to the far right, and move your mouse cursor over system. Once you move your mouse cursor over system, this drop down menu should appear on the system. I want you to move your mouse cursor over this drop down system, and I want you to highlight file manager. Once you've highlighted or moved your mouse cursor over file manager, I want you to left click on file manager once. Once you left clicked on file manager, this window should appear. This window should say root A and root B. Okay? So now what we're going to do is on this screen, we want to concentrate on root A, the left side of the screen. So on the left hand side of the screen, you have prof profile directory and add source. I want you to double left click on add source. Once you double left click on add source, this box should appear. This box sh says add file source, enter the path or browse for the media location and there will be a box here which says none. And then here there should be a box down here also which says enter a name for this media source which also should be empty. And it'll, on the bottom of that box you should say ok, cancel and then browse, add and remove. Ok, so on this box what do you do? What you first want to do is move your mouse cursor over where it says none and I want you to left click once. 
So once you left click once on it, you'll get to this box. It'll have a keyboard on it and it'll have this cursor um, blinking away. Now I don't want you to use this keyboard. Don't use this keyboard. What you can do is you can actually use your own keyboard connected to your PC. What I want you to do to now is using your keyboard, I want you to type in this URL. So the URL you want to type is HTTP colon forward slash forward slash fusion dot tv addons dot ag. Now if you want you can Pause the video right now. You can write that link down on a sheet of paper, okay? Or, and you can then enter, once you've written it down, you can then enter it on your own installation, okay? So you can pause the video here and write it down on a sheet of paper. I'll also have these links in the video description underneath the video, okay? So that is the link that you need to enter. Once you've entered this link, what I want you to do is mouse over done. And I want you to click on done once. Now that you've clicked on done, it'll appear up here. It'll say HTTP fusion.tv addon.he. So you're given it a path name. Now what I want you to do is I want you to mouse over over this box where it says enter a name for this media source. And I want you to click on it. Once you click on it, similar type of box will appear with a full keyboard here. But you can use your own keyboard. And I want you to call it, give it a name. I want you to give it, call it fusion. Fusion. Call it Fusion, capital F. And then once you've given it a name Fusion, I want you to move your mouse over Done and click on Done. Okay. So that's been added and that's been added. Okay. Once you've added both of these, you can pause the video. This is how your screen should look like. Okay. Once your screen looks like that, I want you to mouse over OK and I want you to click on OK once. Okay. Now that you've clicked on OK, left clicked on OK. You'll see here on the left hand side where it says root A, you'll see fusion. Okay, there it says fusion. Now what I want you to do is I want you to double left click on other source again. So mouse over add source, double left click to enter this screen again. Again, it'll say none here. So what I want you to do is left click once on the none to bring up the QWERTY keyboard again. And this time I want you to enter this link http colon forward slash forward slash xfinity dot xunity talk dot com okay so xfinity xunity talk dot com okay so you can pause the video write this down if you wish once you've written this in your box, I want you to highlight done and left click on done. As you can see, it'll appear here then. Now down here on this blue box, I want you to left click on this blue box and give this source a name. This source, let's call it what it was originally, uh, which is Xfinity. So capital X, F-I-N-I-T-Y, Xfinity. Okay, once you've given it a name Xfinity, I want you to mouse over done and left click over done. So I'll have XUnity up here and Xfinity down here and I want you to click on OK. Once you clicked on OK you'll notice now it says Fusion and as well as Xfinity. Okay. Now I want you to add one more source. So I want you to click on uh, double click, double left click on add source to open up this box again a third time and I want you to left click this where it says none to enter the keyboard again and in here we're going to enter one last URL. Now this last URL will be called HTTP colon forward slash forward slash Cody dot metal kettle dot co. So HTTP colon forward slash forward slash Cody dot metal kettle.co. Once you've entered that, I want you to highlight mouse over done and left click on done. Okay. Then I want you to go down and left click on this box to give it a name. And we're going to call it metal kettle. So metal 
metal kettle metal kettle okay give it that name mouse over done and left click on done so Cody metal kettle dot co and metal kettle down here click on OK now that you've clicked on OK you have three icons here fusion metal kettle and Xfinity how do you know that these sources are working the way to check these is to first click on fusion double click on fusion double left click on fusion it should have some text here that means fusion is being entered correctly so to go back you click on these two little dots right at the top double left click them to go back okay let's check metal kettle now I want you to highlight metal kettle double click on it double left click on it and it should have writing written here that means it's correct and to go back I want you to click on these two little dots going back okay then to check Xfinity is I want you to highlight Xfinity and double left click it to open up Xfinity and it's got all this text here to make sure it's correct then click on these two dots to go back okay to go back you you go back to this screen okay so now that we know that uh, we've entered them correctly so we're at this stage now what I want you to do is I want you to mouse over all the way down go down to this button where it, it's like a, a house this is known as the home button I want you to click on it once now that we've clicked on it once we've gone back to the home screen so what do we do now from the home screen well what we're gonna do now is we're gonna install the add-ons now we've installed the sources we're now gonna install the add-ons the first add-on we're going to start is the Fusion add-on. It is the most important add-on and it's one of the largest add-ons. So we're going to install that first. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our mouse cursor. We're going to highlight System. Okay. We're going to go down on System tab. These options appear on the bottom of System tab. And we're going to go on Settings. Highlight Mouse Over Settings and then left click on Settings. Once we left click on Settings, we'll get to this settings screen it'll have these two clogs uh, it'll say confluence on the top and it'll have these different settings buttons here it'll have appearance video live tv music pictures weather add-ons service system what i want you to do is mouse over add-ons so add-ons you've got your mouse icon over add-ons and i want you to left click on add-ons okay when this first appears it'll say first run help this tab signifies the menu of of slide system blah de, blah I'll have this here. What I want you to do is just move your mouse over to OK and then left click on OK. OK. So you will then reach this screen here which will say add-ons. Now on this add-on screen what I want you to do is I want you to move your mouse cursor down to where it says install from zip file. So move your mouse cursor on top of install from zip file and I want you to double left click that double left click that and this box should appear this box will say c e fusion metal kettle home folder and a load of other jargon here but what we are interested in is fusion so i want you to hide my mouse over fusion okay and i want you to double left click fusion once you double left click fusion this window will appear okay It'll say brought to you by TV add-ons AD. Join our forums to support and uh, new to Cody. Begin at start here. Okay, so it says it's giving us a little instruction here. It's telling us to begin at start here. So what we do is we mouse over start here. Okay, this folder here. Mouse over that. Move your mouse over it to highlight it. Okay, then left double left click on it. Once you double left click on it, this window should appear. Okay, on this window we wanna click on plugin with a video hub wizard we want to move our mouse down right to the bottom where it says plugin dot video dot hub wizard 1.1.9 dot zip okay what we're going to do is we're going to double left click this so double left click this and wait for a while a pop-up should appear on the bottom left bottom right of the screen here it is a pop-up has appeared on the bottom right of the screen saying cosmic because wizard has been successfully activated so you're going to wait for that pop-up to appear and then disappear once it disappears what I want you to do is mouse over home button on the bottom right side of the screen and click on home button to go back to the home screen 
once you go back to the home screen what I want you to then do when you're at your home screen is I want you to move your mouse cursor over programs now programs won't have a drop down menu I'll just say programs I want you to click on programs once you click on programs what I want you to do then is I want you to do something for me now programs will look a bit like this will say config wizard and get more but what I want you to do for the ease of navigation I want this to be displayed as icons so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna move to the far left of the screen you'll notice that you've got this tab here now if you move over this tab a little pop-up box appears can you see that I'm moving my mouse cursor over that tab and this pop-up box appears from the left screen when this pop-up box appears I want you to mouse over where it says view and it says list there I want you to left click on list till it says big list then I want you to left click on big list to click until it says thumbnail okay once it clicks on thumbnail I want you to move off it so now you can see now they're like icons and they will look like this but you'll have config wizard written here now on config wizard what I want you to then do is I want you to mouse over config wizard and double left click on config wizard once you double left click on config wizard all of this stuff will appear it'll say Mac, it'll say Windows, it'll say Android Maticom, Apple TV, iDevices, or you are Fire TV and these are all different operating systems which you can install Kodi on and you can install Fusion on but what we're interested in we're using a Windows based system so we're gonna mouse over Windows and we're gonna click on Windows okay left click on Windows once okay then this add-on appears it says team TV add-on would you like team TV would you like TV add-on dot HD to customize your add-on selection I want you to mouse over yes and left click on yes and it'll say downloading please wait let it do its thing this stage will vary depending on how quick your internet connection is so it's going to go through a load of install parts we're just going to let it do its thing boom once it's done it what's going to happen here all of a sudden you'll be brought back to the home screen the background will change it isn't that blue plain background anymore it's got this TV admons custom TV MC edition the future of television and boom you'll have all these icons on the bottom now so what I want you to do is once you reach this stage I want you to explore a little bit while you're on the home screen so now if you move over videos you can see all these icons here if you want to move over music you'll see all these icons here programs you'll see a couple of icons here system will just have the system headings pictures will have nothing underneath it so we're about nearly there we've fully installed fusion but we've got two left remember we got metal kettle left and we have got Xfinity left so let's move on to Xfinity now what we're gonna do is we are gonna go mouse over system okay so we got a mouse on a system we're gonna move down onto the system and I want you to click on settings left click on settings so we're back at settings again we have the two clogs here and on settings we're gonna go all the way down to where it says add-ons okay now add on add-ons I want you to left click add-ons once you left click add-ons you'll get to here now see Cody is updating let Cody update my Cody just started to update now your Cody will probably update also whenever you see these boxes appear on the bottom right corner of your screen stop doing whatever you're doing and let Cody update itself so we can just gonna wait and let Cody do its updates it's all is updating all the add-ons that you've just installed through fusion so we're just waiting for it to install everything and update everything just let it do its thing okay I think that's the end of it once it's done its updates we can continue with the tutorial okay so uh, again let's go a little bit back so once you click on settings and you're in settings okay I want you to click on add-ons left click on add-ons once okay then what I want you to do is mouse over where it says install from zip file okay 
mouse over that so it's highlighted and I want you to left click on it okay so we get back to this window again remember on this window we installed fusion but this time we can ignore fusion because we've already done it okay we're gonna now move down to Xfinity okay so mouse over Xfinity and then double left click on Xfinity once you double left click on Xfinity you will come up with this icon it says X unity talk add-ons modules repositories skins all-in-one zip iStream and Xfinity talk repository dot zip okay what you wanna do is you wanna click on Xunity talk repository dot zip highlight that mouse over that and double left click that once you double left click that it'll say Xfunity talk repository add-on enabled on the bottom right hand corner of the screen I'm gonna wait for that to disappear that shows you Xfunity is now enabled so once that pop-up box appears I want you to once that has disappeared I want you to highlight home button and then left click on home button to go back to the home screen so we're back at the home screen again now on the home screen what I want you to now do is follow this instruction I want you to mouse over system again okay move your mouse cursor over system go down into settings again so highlight settings left click on settings to get back into the settings screen now on the settings screen I want you to go down to where it says add-ons okay once you reach add-ons I want you to left click on add-ons and you'll get to this screen now this time rather than clicking on install from zip file we want to highlight get add-ons so I want you to highlight get add-ons and left click on get add-ons okay once you have clicked on get add-ons you'll see a whole list of add-ons here many of them will say enable next to them okay what I want you to do is I want you to highlight XUnity Talk Repository, find that, and I want you to make sure that has enabled next to it. Okay? And if it doesn't have enabled, how do you enable it? I want you to highlight your mouse over XUnity Talk Repository, click on it once, okay? So what I want you to do is you want to first make sure that is enabled. So once that it should be enabled, and in your systems it should say enabled. I want you to then move your mouse cur cursor over the Xfunity Talk repository and then left double left click on it. Once you double left click on it, this window will appear. You'll say add-on libraries, add-on repositories, music add-ons, picture add-ons, program add-ons, services, skins, and video add-ons. Okay? What I want you to do is I want you to click on program add-ons. I want you to highlight mouse over program add-ons and I want you to double click on program add-ons. Once you double clicked on program add-ons, you'll reach this list here. iStream installer, XUnity maintenance, all-in-one, URL installer, USB SD card wizard, and user data installer. What I want you to do is I want you to mouse over XUnity maintenance, okay? Mouse over that and double left click it. Once you double left click it, you'll get this window pop up. It'll say xunity.com maintenance and it'll say xunity maintenance is your one-stop tool for all fixes from xunitytalk.com and this window will have these buttons on the left hand side. Configure will be grayed out, update will be grayed out, you can't click on it, launch will be grayed out, install you'll be able to click on that, enable will be grayed out, rollback will be grayed out and change log you'll be able to click on that. What I want you to do is move your mouse cursor over install so it's in blue and I want you to left click on this once. Once you left click on it it should say XPM Connect Tutorials add-on enabled. Okay? XUnity Maintenance add-on enabled on the bottom right hand corner it should say it's enabling and it should disappear. Now on this screen you should say XUnity Maintenance enabled. So once you've done that I want you to mouse over home okay once you mouse over home, left click on home to go back to the home screen. Okay? We're nearly there. We're nearly there. There's one more stage left. Okay? A couple of more stages left. And then we've done and we've installed Kodi successfully. What I want you to now do, now that we're back on the home screen, is I want you to mouse over systems again. Once you mouse over system, I want you to go down on the system and click on highlight settings down here and left click on settings again to reach the settings stage. Once you clicked on settings, okay, what I want you to do down now is go down on the left menu 
to where it says add-ons okay and I want you to left click on add-ons to reach this add-on screen here okay but this add-on screen is where you last left it okay so this add-on screen is on XUnity maintenance remember when we left it there so we need to go back how do we go back could you see these two little dots on the top of here I want you to double left click on these two dots to go back then I want you to double left click this this dots to go further back then I want you to double left click these dots to go further back until you reach this screen where it says available updates disable add-ons enable add-ons get add-ons install from zip file and search so I want you to click those double dots until you reach this menu okay from this menu what I want you to do is mouse over on install from zip file okay mouse over that and then left click that and it'll pop up with this window again where you were on before so now we've done fusion and we've done Xfinity now we need to do metal kettle so I want you to mouse over metal kettle and then double left click metal kettle to load up this metal kettle now you'll have two icons here it says recommended repositories and repository metal kettle 151 zip okay I want you to move your mouse over repository metal kettle 151 zip okay once you moused over that I want you to double left click on that so double left click again this will appear on the bottom right hand corner say metal metal kettles add on repository enabled once that disappears what I want you to then do is I want you to click on the home button so click on the home button to go back into the home screen once you've gone back into the home screen what I then want you to do is mouse over system again then move your mouse over settings and then left click on settings to go back into the settings screen once you've gone back into the settings screen I want you to move your mouse over add-ons and then left click on add-ons to get to this window so on this window what I want you to now do is I want you to highlight where it says get add-ons so where it says get add-ons move your mouse pointer over that and I want you to left click on get add-ons so once you clicked on get add-ons you'll get this list again so from this list what I want you to do as we've got XUnity here what I want you to do is ignore XUnity I want you to find metal kettle so look down this list and here metal kettle is it should say metal kettles add-on repository I want you to mouse over that and I want you to left click on that once you left clicked on that it it come up with this screen here it'll say add-on repository music add-ons program add-ons and video add-ons what I want you to do is I want you to mouse over video add-ons once you mouse over video add-ons I want you to left left click video add-ons once okay now these are all the video add-ons which come with the metal kettle repository source file from here what I want you to do is I want you to mouse down this list and find something called HD movies or movies HD as you can see here it is movies HD and the icon will look like this on the right hand side it'll look a bit like this say movies HD streaming made easy uh, movies HD version 1.124 so I want you to mouse over movies HD okay and I want you to double left click on movies HD to this pop-up window box appears once you double left click on it I'll say movies HD all this will be grayed out apart from install and change logs so what I want you to do is I want you to mouse over on install and then double left click on install give it a moment and it should say downloading it should go back to the list and it should say downloading on here then it should say movies add-on repository add-on enabled on the bottom right hand corner and movies HD add-on enabled on the bottom right hand corner that means you've done it successfully once those um, prompts disappear I want you to mouse over home and I want you to click on home left click on home button to go back to home and that's more or less it you've now configured and installed Kodi okay but there's one more stage left that we've got left and this is the last stage okay now what I want you to do this time is I want you to mouse over programs so mouse over programs and I want you to click on programs so left click on programs okay 
this window will appear and this is the window that I left last time. Do you remember when we were installing it and we selected windows from here? This is not the window we need so we need to go back. How do we go back? Could you see this big up icon with this bar here? I want you to double click this until we reach this screen here. Now this screen will have all these icons here. You'll have NaviX, you'll have Axel Downloader, Config Wizard, Fresh Start, Kodi Log Uploader, Maintenance Tool, Get More, Notinance, uh, One Channel Theme Pack, Add-on Installer, uh, Aluic. And what we're interested in is xunitytalk.com maintenance. I want you to highlight mouse over this and I want you to double left click on it. Once you double left clicked on it, uh, this should appear. Ah, actually, I've done it wrong. What I want you to do is click on the X arrow if you've done this. Click on the X arrow. Uh, so from this home screen, I don't want you to double click it. I want you to single left click it. So move your mouse mouse over X Unity Talk Maintenance and single left click it. Once you single left click it, you'll reach this screen. You'll have loads of icons here. But what we're interested in is we are interested in... Let's have a look. Let's have a look. I think it's called fixes. No, it's not called fixes. Okay, let's go back. Let me just figure out what we need to. I think it's X Unity Talk Maintenance. What I want you to do is I want you to left click mouse over X Unity Talk Maintenance, and I just want you to left click on it once. Okay. No, it isn't left click. It's one of these. I'm not 100% sure. I think I've forgotten now. To go back again, if you're following me, is just click on the two double dot icons to go back. So if you're in it, these two little dots right at the top, just double click them, single click, left click them once to go back. It's one of these. I think it's tweaks. I want you to mouse over tweaks and I want you to left click on tweaks. Okay. Um. Yes, so you want to click on tweaks. So tweaks is the correct one. So let's double dot go back so I can show you. So once you reach this screen, I want you to mouse over tweaks and left click tweaks once. Okay, and you'll reach this screen here. Now on tweaks, I want you to mouse down to where it says add zero cache advanced XML. Okay, I want you to mouse over this and I want you to left click this once. Once you left clicked on it, this backup original would appear. It says, have you backed up your original as you cannot go back? Don't worry. Click mouse over yes and left click on yes. Okay. And then it, it should come up with this box saying, that's it. All done. Please come visit again. I want you to click on OK. And, and once you clicked on OK, I want you to go down on the bottom right corner of the screen where it says the home icon. And I want you to click on the home icon. Once you clicked on the home icon, you're back at the home screen. And I want you to give another pat on the back. You've now successfully not only installed Kodi, but you've now successfully configured Kodi. So let's explore Kodi a little bit. Uh, as you can see, you've got pictures, videos, and all this kind of funky stuff down here. Let's click on, say, um, we highlight videos tab. So mouse over videos tab. And you've got the channels under videos tab. You've got Project VTV, uh, Stream All Sources, Phoenix, Genesis, and Prime Wire. Genesis is one of my favorite programs for videos. Let's click on Genesis. So we've clicked on Genesis. Genesis. Once you click on Genesis, it'll load up this here. Movies, TV shows, channels, My Genesis, latest movies, latest episodes, tools, and search. Let's click on TV shows. All right, let's click on movies. We'll mouse over movies. Left click on movies. And this list should appear. It says genres, languages, certificates, box office, box office, box office by year, people watching, most popular, most voted, Oscar winners in theater. So let's click on most popular. So highlight most popular, left click on most popular, and it should say working down here. And voila, you've got all the latest movies here. Mad Max Roads to Fury, Interstellar. Guardians of the Galaxy, Kingsman, The Secret Service. These are all movies. So to get to play these movies, you basically click on it. And it should say working. Left click on it, whatever you want to see. And it should say working. And these are all the links that can play this movie here, The Kingsman Secret Service. So you select one of the links. 
it should say 1080p so this will stream at 1080p so once you click on it it will buffer and load the movie I'm just gonna show a couple of seconds because I don't want to break any copyright infringement laws nor do I promote anybody break any sort of copyright law okay this is just a tutorial video so I'm just gonna show you basically how to stream this so we select one of these links at 1080p and we highlight it and we left click it double left click it and should say working okay and buffering here we have 20 century fox buffering at 1080p let's click on the stop icon to stop it as I don't want to break any copyright infringement laws that's basically Cody so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on the home icon to get back to home screen I'm gonna let you explore I want you to explore all these channels, I want you to mouse over videos, explore all of these, I want you to mouse over music, explore all of these. These are not the only ones, these are just the ones that are icons. If you highlight videos and you mouse down to add-ons and you click on add-ons, these are all the ones that are active. So these are all the ones that are, sorry, apologies, you need to go, yeah, these are the all the ones that are active. So if you go to videos and you click on add-ons, these are all the active add-ons. Project Free TV, Russia Today, All Streams, TED Talk, US TV Now, etc. You can click on this icon right at the bottom where it says Get More. If you click on Get More, it'll load up thousands of different TV channels or different uh, applications which can stream loads of media software to you. Like DJ Entertainments, Disney Junior, uh, DIY Network. And if you want to install one of these, for example, if I want to install Disney Junior, I mouse over Disney Junior, okay, to highlight it. I double left click on it, okay, to pop it up. It says Disney Junior, and I click on install. Once I click on install, let's do it. Mouse over install, click on install, double click on install. It should say downloading and enable. Disney Junior are not add-on enabled, okay. We're going to wait for that to disappear. Once that disappeared, we want to mouse over home left click on home to go back onto the home screen okay so you th you're asking yourself where's the Disney Junior which you just installed well if you mouse over videos and you mouse down to add-ons and left click on add-ons it should appear here uh, where are you Disney Junior Disney Junior here we have it now this is a list many people don't like lists if you don't like a list you can make these into icons to do that like I showed you earlier it's very easy. You just mouse to the far left of the screen until this pop pop up box appears. Okay, mouse far left of the screen, and I want you to go mouse over and highlight view where it says info. I want you to click on it once to go to info two. I want you to click on it again to turn it into list. I want you to click on it again to turn it into big list. I want you to click on it again to turn it into thumbnail. Once you turned it into thumbnails, you can move off that screen, and they're all thumbnails now. All of these are thumbnails. Now, if you were to get another channel, you just click on Get More, and you go down and select another one you want to install. So, if you fancy watching, I don't know, uh, Enemy Territory, whatever the hell that is, just double click on it, click on Install. Once it installs and the pop-up box appears, I'm not going to install this one. You basically go down Videos and click on Add-ons, and you'll see it here now I will show you how to get the I can in a future video I can show you how to add these add-ons on the on the shortcut bar if you want me to so that's it basically we've now installed and configured Kodi to work successfully okay now a lot of people say HD movies isn't working now if you follow this tutorial HD movies is working if you highlight videos mouse down to add-ons okay HD movies or movies HD should be should be here. There it is. Movies HD is here at the icon. I want you to left click on this once. Once you mouse over it, here's movies HD. It's loaded up. Uh, let's go to highest rated. Left click on highest rated. It should say working. It'll, be, it'll take a little while. Let it always work. If this box appears saying working, let it always work. Let it do its thing. Okay, that bottom progress bar is moving along. Again, this is a live tutorial, so I I can't edit this video, so I can't skip the loading button. So you're just going to have to watch it real time. This is just to demonstrate to people that Movies HD is working. As uh, there were a few people 
in the previous video uh, commenting on the video saying that they couldn't get Movies HD working. The reason being is the Movies HD source file wasn't working but the metal kettle and how I, show, how I showed you earlier how to install Movies HD from metal kettle this way you can get Movies HD working. Nearly there. Just doing its thing. Again, um, please like, comment and subscribe to my videos. Uh, if you have any problems, comment them and I'll try to get back to you. Uh, like if you like the video. Uh, dislike if you dislike the video. Um, and any sort of feedback you give me in the comment section, section would be uh, appreciated. So here we are, uh, Movies HD. We've got all the movies here, the most popular. Expandables, blah, blah, blah. Uh, if you click on Expandables, left click on it once, it says working. And uh, here it is. Expandables is starting to load. I'm not going to break any copyright infringement laws, so we'll get it working. So that's, this shows you that Movies HD is working. Let's click on the home button to go back to the home. Again, thank you for watching my video. This is a step by step tutorial for novice users as well as advanced users. I do apologize for the advanced users. It is a very slow step by step video. Uh, but you know, I want to cater to all of uh, my viewers from the very beginners to the advanced users. Uh, in the future, I'll be showing you exactly how to download movies to your hard drive so that you can play them on your smart TVs. And I'll also show you how to download uh, Kodi um, on different devices, for example, the Android devices and the iOS devices, uh, the Raspberry Pi devices, etc. So those will come in future videos. Thank you for watching my video and hope you have a good day.